in this episode, we'll be making bangos or milkfish escabeche. Escabeche is a common dish in many Spanish-speaking countries, Latin America, Guam, and the Philippines. Many variations exist. But essentially, it is a dish made with marinated meat or fish, cooked in acidic sauce, mixed with herbs and spices. The meat or fish is marinated in the sauce overnight and then served the following day, either cold or room temperature during the summer days. The Filipino variation has fried fish, vinegar, sugar, sliced vegetables, herbs, and spices and is often eaten the day of. If you're looking for an alternative to meat while in observance of the Lent season, then this recipe is just for you. To begin this recipe, we need to prep all our ingredients. For a complete list of ingredients, please see the description below. Before cooking the milkfish, we need to make sure that it's completely dry to get a crispy exterior. In this escabeche recipe, we'll be cooking the fish in the air fryer. For cooking instructions, follow the recommended setting from your air fryer manual. If you don't have an air fryer, you should invest in one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you could also pan fry the fish on the stovetop until golden brown. While our fish is cooking, we'll go ahead and make our sweet and sour sauce. In a hot pan, we'll add our coconut oil, onions, ginger, and garlic until they are slightly brown. Stir in the bell peppers and cook for about a minute. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Then we'll add our carrots along with our calamansi juice and fish sauce. Usually, we would get the acidic element by using vinegar, but for this recipe, we'll be using Manila Gold Pure Calamansi Juice. This adds a wonderful floral flavor that pairs well with the sweet and sour flavor profile. Lastly, we'll add in our coconut sugar, stir until dissolved, and let it come to a boil. Bring down the heat to low to simmer the sauce for a minute to let it thicken up. I use coconut sugar to get a nice brown color to this sauce. Salt and pepper your sauce again to taste. In the meantime, we'll cook up some rice using the first knuckle method. I'll cook one cup of rice, then use the first knuckle of my ring finger to measure the water level from the top of the rice. On high heat, cover the pot and set a timer for 25 minutes. The water will come to a boil after 5 minutes or so, and then set your temperature to a low heat until timer is up. Then let it sit for 5 minutes. Once our fish is cooked, we can arrange it in a nice dish. To keep your food hot, always use a plate that's been heated. We're going to take our vegetables now, and we're going to arrange it around our fish. <laughs> we'll also put a little bit on top. It smells so good. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to take the liquid, Spread that deliciousness everywhere. The best way to eat escabeche is to serve it on top of a mound of piping hot rice. And then the only thing left to do is to dig in. So don't mind if I do. Escobeche is one of my favorite dishes. And whenever I go back home to Hawaii, I always ask my mom to make me this dish. It's so good. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. You'll get notification on new video updates. Until next time, stay hungry. Kain tayo.